Good morning, everyone. Today we are finally doing a declutter of this shelf up here. You guys have been begging me for this, literally, for like the last three declutter cycles, and I don't even know what's in here. Like, I'm pretty sure I've got the most ancient liquid lipsticks and things up here. It turned out to be a terrible idea to put them in these displays because I just never reached for them, but they looked gorgeous. So, yeah. I have some random XO Beauty samples up there, which I'll get rid of. We've got soft toys, which are really cute. Some of those were bought by my viewers to meet up and things like that and then I've also got like my little um Disney headband got some random stuff eyeliners and things which also carries on to all the way over here brushes so I thought we would just reorganize the space declutter heaps of those lipsticks and just see what's in there because I feel like it's gonna be hilarious like I literally think there are lime crime lipsticks up there which we all know I haven't touched in probably what, like seven years or something like that? Like throwback, lime crime, oh my god. <laughs> Over on this side, I'm not sure if we'll do any of this today, but I've got fragrances. So, yeah, I don't know if we'll declutter any of them and tidy it up. Maybe like, I don't know, make them look pretty, but we'll see. Maybe that can be the next one. I'll just see how we go for time. Also, I'm on a new camera. My outfit today is horrendous, so let's just pretend that you didn't see me just then. I'm on a new camera, so we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully nothing bugs out. Hopefully the audio is okay, the focus, all of that. It's kind of a test run, so bear with me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Get ready for ASMR click clack noises. I know you love them. So I think I'm going to set up just here. I'm just going to move the um, drawers to in front of me just because it's a bit easier for me to film here rather than in that corner because it's just hard to set up the camera there. All right. Oh my gosh, these are really old eyeshadow samples of my first couple of palettes. So obviously before we've got the packaging, when I'm creating the colors and everything, they will come like this instead. And then we go from it there once I finalize colors and textures and you know, all those good things. No idea what this is. Look, here's one of the first samples of packaging. And it put together. You can still grab this palette on xbeautyshop.com. We reordered it. It's the heaps of sweets. And it's stunning. Hold on, let me actually show you it now that I've gone this far. Okay, mine's like destroyed, but it looks like this. It actually looks better than this now too, because we updated the inside to be like a pearlescent finish. But yes, it's stunning. And this is another palette we do. The Native Flora and Fauna. Exo Beauty. So that was chilling on top. And then let's empty out all of this stuff. This is old, man. Like so old. Most of these are like brand new. Oh my gosh, look how separated these are. Can you see this? cheek and lip glow. I wonder if they're still any good. Like surely they're not. I'm not too sure. I'm gonna give it a smell test. Oh yeah that smells like friggin plastic. Okay so yeah unfortunately I think these are all going in the bin. I would love to repurchase some of these though because the colors are gorgeous. I wish I took advantage of them and didn't forget about them. See these don't smell as bad. What are these? These are the Clinique Pop liquid matte lip colors. Like look how stunning they are. Oh, I'm so upset. They are no good, so I'm going to find a box and pop them all in a box to get rid of them. Alright, so I'm going to transfer these into this box here. And then next up we have a whole lot of these Jouer liquid lipsticks. Do they still even make these? Um, what are they called? Lip creams and the lip toppers, like heaps of stuff in here. These have got to be expired also, surely. Oh, they still smell okay, but yeah, they've got that hint of like a plasticky kind of smell, and I just know they are ancient, so getting rid of them. See, this is why I don't keep like full collections of product anymore, because it's just wasteful. I'd rather donate and just keep colors that I really want to use, unless I'm filming a lip swatch video, and then I can just share the ones that I swatch with friends and family that don't care about my germs. Because, yeah, like, it's just a shame. And I should have done this a long time ago and just given friends and family heaps of these, but I didn't, so that's my bad. I just couldn't get them for decoration in the end. and liked how they looked, but, yeah, it, it needs to go. Like, I'm keen just to have a little tidy up and clean out, you know, so it's time to do this declutter. <laughs> it was quite satisfying how perfectly they fit in, but hey, next drawer we have 
these Sephora um, cream lip stains. I was obsessed with these. Do you guys remember? If I can remember, I will link below some of my lip swatch videos featuring any of these products in case you're still keen to go check them out because I think you can still actually buy a lot of these. I'd have to double check, but yeah. I will link them below anyways. So once again, these are ancient. I would have filmed that lip swatch video years ago. They actually smell fine. I wonder if I should just keep a few of my favorite colors, try them out, because yeah, those haven't separated. They don't visually look weird. Let's swatch one. This is the shade 13. They're made in Italy. And once again, they're called the Sephora Cream Lip Stains. And they are really, really nice. You guys, look at that. That applies like perfectly. Not streaky, not patchy. And it doesn't smell expired at all. So yeah, I'm going to keep a few of my favorite shades. And I'll pop them in my liquid lipstick drawer. And I'll test them out and just see if they give me any kind of reaction or anything like that. Alright, next up we have the Lime Crime, what were these called? Um, Velveteens, that's right. I used to love these but then the owner turned out to be a total dickhead and we never used Lime Crime again. Oh, we've also got a Tartus lip paint in here, that one might not be so old. Looks brand new still. So yeah, we're going to get rid of those. We have a brand new draw sets. I'm just going to put those to the side. So I was thinking we could use these draw sets for something else. My hair clips, my cotton buds, even brushes or something like that. Like I could pop like eye brushes in here. Like I don't know. What do you guys think? We might do some in this video. But that is the first set done and dusted. I'm going to grab the next one. <laughs> brand new lip kits by Kylie Jenner. And they still smell perfect, so I might give them to friends or donate them or something like that because I don't need them. What are they? Boss and say no more. And there was this one that just kind of like fell out the bottom as well. This is called Boy Bye. Oh my gosh, it's almost the exact same. It's just like a darker, more purpley version of that Sephora color. Alright, in here. I've definitely got some slightly newer things in here. So, can I go like this and show you? I can. We've got some lip land, which has vanished off the face of the earth. I used some of them out of my liquid lipstick drawer. Used them in a tutorial and I was trying to link them. I couldn't even find the website, Facebook, Instagram, nothing. Like, they just kind of vanished off the face of the earth. So, we'll get rid of them. Um, the Tarte lip paints. I mean, I've got heaps of them already. I've kept in the bottom drawer. And then, we have heaps of these plush makeup geek liquid lipsticks. What are these like? I feel like the colour's starting to go a bit dodgy. Like they've separated. Yeah, those stink. Those must be very old, but they look like they apply right, but the smell just gives it away. Like it smells toxic. So <laughs> we're gonna get rid of those as well. I feel like you guys are either gonna love this because I'm getting rid of so much stuff, or you're gonna hate on me for wasting so much makeup, which I get it, but that's why I've changed my ways. And we appreciate this box is almost full. Next up, we have these ColourPop liquid lipsticks. Once again, these are going to be ancient, you guys. It also looks like we've got some other random ones. I mean, look at the state of this. Yum. Oh my goodness. I don't know why, but I really want to smell it. Oh. Look at it, it's like covered on the wand. Surprisingly it doesn't smell that bad, but yeah, it's definitely lost its scent. Oh, nah, yeah, it does smell pretty bad. Gross. Oh my gosh, I remember this one. I'm sure I used that in a tutorial when it was like this really weird top coat kind of colour. Like lavender. Those ones are stuck together. Alright, next up we have more Tartus lip paints. We've got some Kylie Jenner, some Ofra. The packaging doesn't even look like that anymore. That's how old this is. And we've got some Jouer. Oh my goodness, some more throwbacks coming right up. 
drag cosmetics. I used to love these. And we've also got some, is this Too Faced? Too Faced lip injections, glosses. And we've got some Kaylin matte tints. I actually really liked those. And some more ColourPop Ultra Matte. Hello Kitty. I don't think those are that old, are they? Yeah, those still smell perfect, but I'm still going to declutter them. And down the very bottom drawer here, we have a whole lot of the melted liquid lipsticks. These are the metallic ones, I think, are they? Yeah. Metallic and long wear. Um, and we also have some more Tarte lip paints as well. <sighs> I'm, I'm going to get rid of all of that. Voila, we are two down, two more to go. Oh my gosh, up okay, here I just found the Hello Kitty treats, little um, cupcake treats that Sally bought me the first time we ever hung out. She bought a little gift and I've kept them and I've never eaten them because they were so cute. Isn't that cool? I might put them in my little um, special things suitcase thing I have. I have like a mini suitcase full of like memories and sentimental items to me, like stuff from my nanny and granddad in there. I might put it in there. <laughs> I feel like this video is like a big throwback, um, like lip product video. Also, like I feel like no one uses matte liquid lipsticks anymore. I don't know. We have more ColourPop. It just goes to show how many friggin' colors they have. And some other bits and pieces in here, some Ofra in that. I just love how I like color coordinated these two. Like these are all nude and then the next ones are all pink. Look at this one. <laughs> oh no. What on earth happened to this one? That's got to be a couple of hundred liquid lipsticks by now, at least. All right, and here we've got our melted matte Too Faced liquid lipsticks. I loved these for a hot minute, and then I kind of forgot all about them. Nice thick layer of dust on the top of that. We will need to wipe down. Oh my gosh, my handwritten note from Kat Von D. Lol. I guess that's going to go in the recycling. <laughs> All right, next up we have Mojara Cosmetics Liquid Lips. I forgot they had this many colors. You can see they're all separated. These are ancient, probably what, like seven, eight years old. Woo, I don't even know. Nah, maybe not that old. Maybe like five or six, but still very old. I've now resorted to tipping them out into the box that's on the ground because it's a huge box. I can't fit it up on my desk. <laughs> oh my goodness. What do we have in here? Old Jeffree Star lipsticks. Kylie liquid lipstick. I mean, it's all going to go. Let's see what the condition of these looks like. Yeah, pretty good. What the heck happened there? Next up, we have more old, old Ofra. Look at that. I don't think the packaging looks like this any longer, does it? I like the new packaging, I think. And then a bit of old colour pop in there too. And then we have more old colour pop. And some more old Ofra and colour pop. More nudes. How many nudes do I need? See, this is why I now have like one tray of liquid lipsticks rather than like six plus all of this. And why I only have about two thirds of one drawer of lipsticks, like bullet lipsticks, rather than I used to have one, two, three, four, six. So yeah, I've definitely cut back a lot if you watch my old makeup collection videos. <laughs> and that is all of those. So I guess I'll just wipe down the shelves, put them back up, and then I don't know, we'll go from there. Because look what I spotted. This giant cobweb and yeah it's just really dusty so I'll move all of those wipe it down pop them away and then we'll continue if 
By the way, whenever I'm cleaning my um, filming room with these like makeup and brushes and things, obviously if I'm like spraying this around right in front of me, I'm not trying to spray my brushes, but you know, if it does, this is like a probiotic cleaner, so it's like got no chemicals in it or anything. So if I accidentally get a little bit of a dusting of it over my brushes, I'm not like freaked out. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not going to break me out or like do anything to my skin. It's really gentle and really chill. <laughs> so just thought I'd mention that in case anyone was freaking out. It's non-toxic, allergy free, it removes odors, it's non-GMO. Anyway, so next I'm going to... Do I organize these? I'm thinking I could probably just put all the pencils and things into the shelf because I feel like it'd be easier to see them because I'm not gonna lie these are kind of fiddly you know to get in there whereas if I just do a shelf for each kind of color scheme it, it might be a little bit easier so I'm just gonna do it in fast motion um, I'm just gonna organize my lip pencils yeah by different color things and I'll also do eyeliners by the way too In one drawer I have nudes, oranges, peaches, pinkish tones, like that kind of vibe. Actually I might put the orange orange in this one. And it's really handy because Scion, you can see most of those colours. Um, and if I pull the drawer out obviously it's really easy to see. There's like a couple of layers but like it's so easy to see compared to when they're in those ones. So I'll pop those in there like that. Here we have reds, oranges, dark colors, and purple tones, like berry tones. So yeah, and the like um, lines I have, I have EXO Beauty, Jouer, Kylie, I've got some ColourPop, and a couple of random other brands as well. So yeah, those are the lip pencils. Might actually put the nudes up top because I reach for them the most. There we go. So much better. I have about four different color tones at the moment. I'll show you. But I'm just gonna like make them fit into three drawers, I think. Because I've got like yellows, nudes, oranges, and peaches. I've got browns, I've got greens, blues, turquoises, um, more nudes and other colours. I've also got colourful liquids, which I think I'm just gonna mix in here because this is gonna be yeah, colourful stuff I don't reach for that often. And then in my main drawer, which you guys have seen during my declutters, that's where I just have like all my blacks and browns that I use like day to day. So yeah, I think I will pop these in here. I might declutter a few too, because I can see like a few brown ones and black ones that I don't reach for at all. Like I don't really use black pencil liner that much. And I already have a couple, so I don't know. Let's just see how this goes. Oh, and there's like eyeshadow sticks and things, so. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of put in whatever floats my boat. You know what, I might actually take out some of my eyeliners from my drawer because I actually am starting to overflow. You guys will see when I do my declutter um, and then put some in here because there's just too many in my drawer. Did I even make sense just then? I don't know, I haven't eaten today. I feel like I'm talking shit, I don't know. I've got another lip pencil here too. I love these, the Nabla Lip Shapers. All right, so for now, oof, <laughs> my chair sounds so weird when I sit down like that. Um, I'm just gonna put aside these pencil ones because I do have um, liquids too, which I might put in here later, but for now,
there we go so I've got blues some greens and purples and then I have browns and khakis and like more wearable kind of tones like coppers and just stuff like that and then up here we have nudes light pinks yellows and light golds and things and then of course the lip pencils so I'm pretty happy with how that looks oh I've got the liquids too I'll just pop them in done all right and that just cleared up all of it. these which will reduce clutter on my desktop because they always kind of just sat next to me and got in the way um and i'll be putting this drawer set where it's really easy to reach all right let me pull down some more stuff we can organize i actually don't know where the last little compartment is um weird Okay, well, maybe we'll find it one day. I have all of these, which I did a lip swatch video on. I'll link it below. But I don't use them, so they can go as well. Alright, so I reckon in here I'm going to do tools. Kind of annoying how that doesn't fit. <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna do my XO Beauty creaseless hair clips. I'll link them down below. How stunning. Oh, I'm obsessed with them. They're the best. And I have a lot because we had some seconds boxes that were all dented and stuff we couldn't sell to you guys. So I've got a lot. And I also use them to set my curls sometimes now. Like when I curl my hair, I roll it back up and I use the clip to hold the curl in place. And I don't know, I really like the way it just gives my hair a more like voluminous curl. I'll have to do a tutorial at some stage. Anyway. Next, I think I will pop my Q-tips in here that I use during makeup. These are um, bamboo ones, like the stickers bamboo, I believe. Something like that. I can't remember. I talked about them ages ago when I got them. I think I got them off like Shop Masse or something. I don't know. I'll just pop my washi tape in here too. I used to use that for like doing a really sharp outer corner. I don't do it so much now, but I'll just leave it in there. Um, I was thinking if it fit, I could put in my remotes. Oh my god, it fits perfect. Cool. I always lose my remotes because I just toss them down. So now I can put all of my remotes in here, just next to me. Those are for like lighting and air conditioning in my room. I also pop my lighter in here for when I do candles and things. And I've got a spare one, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with yet. Maybe for now I'll just pop some hair ties in here. There you go. So just a whole lot of stuff that, you know, needs a home, but just gets in the way normally. So I feel like that's a nice little solution and it's just tucked up on my shelf. All right, so ooh, I want to move those since they're things I use most days, especially... You know, those bits and the lip pencils, I'm going to put them one lower. So I'm going to clean that out and tidy it up and, you know, yep, move them. And then what should we do with all that, guys? All right, so those are accessible because I filmed just here. Um, I need to get rid of all that stuff. Put my soft toys back up. I might put a plant up the top. It's got one on my desk, but it's kind of in the way. I feel like this is getting long. So, yeah, I might just do this and then show you how it looks. Alright, so I put a little bit of camera gear just there. I don't know what to put in them or if I should just move them and distribute perfume across both ways. I need to wipe down my bench and just literally like have a big tidy up. Um, but that's for another day. I also put my cable behind these for my camera charger, which I reach for every single time I film. Um, and I reject them. So yeah, let me know if you've got any suggestions. I put my plant up here 
with some soft toys. I've got the candies just there for now. I do want to move them to my little suitcase, but I don't know. I just like looking at them. Cute memories, you know. So yeah, I don't know what to do with the space. I think eventually I might just move all of my soft toys up there. That's something else Sally made me when I was having a really bad time in life. She made me a happy board. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've got any suggestions. Other than that though, this is nice and easy to get into. Oh, I'm not even filming myself in the right place. Um, yeah, accessories, we've got eye buds, we've got bobby pins, hair ties, we've got hair clips, um, we've got the electrical stuff and a memory card up there, and then on the side, yeah, all of the lip pencils and stuff, and literally I just go like that, and then just put it next to me and film and figure out what I want, and then just put it back again. So, nice and easy. I used to have my brushes up there too, but sometimes my computer gets in the way and then... I don't know, they just end up going everywhere, so I think I'll just keep my brushes in front of me. But I might just like move them across when I clean up all this. I think these I'm just going to use for a different purpose in a different part of the house. Maybe in our storage cabinet cabinet? Cupboard? Cabinet. Cupboard. <laughs> um, I don't know why I combine those words. But yeah, I might just put pens and stationery in there because at the moment we've just got like a big tub full. So it might be a bit easier to find what we need if I distribute it and organize it a little bit better. So goodbye to the liquid lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the whole of decluttering and just reorganizing. And yeah, I really want to hear your opinions and what I should do with this space. You guys don't ever see it in the background of my videos. It's just more like me. So yeah, I don't know what to do with it. Do I, yeah, stretch the fragrances, like declutter them and then move some all the way across? Or what should I do? Or what do you think I could use in them? That like, you know, stuff I don't need all the time. Maybe I could find some stuff in my drawers that get in the way. Like this drawer, look at it right now. This is why I need to do another declutter. Like maybe I could put lip balms in or something. I don't know, but I'm just worried that I won't reach for them again like I did last time with the lip balms. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I need to go through and figure out what to do with all of that. And until my next video, I guess I'll, uh, yeah, speak to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>